Hello, welcome back to my studio. In this video, we're going to look at different types of white paint and what the difference is and how it can benefit you in your particular style of painting. Now I've received a beautiful selection of different kinds of white paint made by Royal Tarlins in their Rembrandt range of paints. These are extra fine quality artist's paints and they've got an interesting range of white colors. We're all familiar with titanium white as the sort of staple, strong, opaque, heavy tinting white paint. They've got titanium white obviously as well. But in two varieties, titanium white with safflower oil and titanium white with linseed oil. Now what's the real difference between those two? Well, linseed oil is a bit faster drying and it can potentially yellow over time as well. So if you're using white straight out the tube, maybe over a long period of time, there'll be a slight yellowing to that white, but it's not a major issue. It's easy to take care of that problem if you should find it. Sunlight, in fact, will remove that yellowing of uh, linseed oil. Of course, if you're mixing other colors into your white paint, the yellowing won't really be a problem anyway. So you've got two titanium whites, with one with linseed oil, one with safflower. Now, one of the techniques you can use is use the linseed oil white paint in your lower layers of painting and then finish off with the safflower oil paint. The linseed oil will dry a bit quicker and the last layer with safflower oil will dry a bit slower and that will also help minimize potential cracks because you want your painting to dry from the bottom up. The other paints we're going to look at are zinc white also in linseed oil and in safflower oil. Then there's transparent white and also a mixed white. And I'll be explaining the difference between all of those as well. And we'll do a little demonstration where you can see the effect that the different white paints will have on some color. So let's have a look. Okay, here's the lineup of Rembrandt white paint that we're going to look at. I'm going to start off with titanium white. This is titanium white with safflower oil. And you can see it has maximum light fastness and maximum opacity. Well, having a look at the titanium white, it's difficult to see exactly how cool that color temperature is without comparing it to something else. But we'll look at that in a moment. Now this is titanium white with linseed oil. And I must say that seem to be softer and a bit creamier, but I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the carrier oil in it. And then the next up is the zinc white, maximum light fastness, but semi-transparent, the black and white square. And this contains safflower oil. Now you may be able to notice a slight variation already. The zinc white a little warmer than the titanium white and now zinc white with linseed oil now to me that immediately looks slightly warmer and that may in in fact be the influence of linseed oil giving a slightly warmer look to the paint and then the next one transparent white also maximum light fastness but transparent with the white little square. And that certainly felt like a very creamy, soft paint. What is in transparent white? Let's, if you want to make sure, you can have a look. You can see PW6 and PW4. 
PW6 being titanium white, PW4 being zinc white. And then finally the mixed white and it is fully opaque and maximum light fastness. This is also a combination of titanium and zinc and contains safflower oil. This feels slightly firmer than the transparent but it is meant to be a more even balanced paint compared to just titanium or just zinc. All right, so observations. The transparent white definitely looks a little warmer. The titanium with safflower, the coolest. So there may well be an influence with warmth in linseed compared to safflower. This is red light. Now starting off with titanium white and red light. Right, so characteristic of titanium white, very strong and opaque paint, maximum tinting strength and we get this pink color very easily. Our titanium white with linseed oil should be very similar of course, so let's use some of that. So very much the same, although you'd have to decide for yourself it's very close. Right now, zinc white with safflower oil. All right, hardly making anything, any real change there. Let's put a bit more zinc white in. And you can see almost double the amount of white, but look how transparent it still remains. And zinc white with safflower, semi-transparent, but the color is staying extremely vibrant compared to that. So if you want maximum tinting, titanium is the best bet. Now zinc with linseed oil. Pretty much the same result. So that is, of course, one of the real benefits of zinc white. But remember, with zinc white, mix it well into color and use it with your mediums, not as an impasto layer on its own. Zinc is meant to be mixed in with something. Now on to transparent white. Transparent white with safflower oil more or less the same volume. Mix those two. And look at that. Such a subtle change. Once again, take some more. And now we've used a large amount of white in total. and we only get to a pink color at this point. Half and half, we're getting a slight tinting and maximum transparency and vibrancy with your color. So very impressed with this transparent white. If you're gonna use it for glazing or subtle temperature shifts or transitions, this would be very useful for portraiture I should imagine. Right, finally we got the mixed white, an even balance between titanium and zinc. Well, let's compare. It's clearly not as powerful as pure titanium white or the titanium white colors and not quite as vibrant as zinc white as well. So definitely suggesting a more even balance between the two to just reduce some of the extreme effects of the titanium and a bit more tinting strength than zinc. If you're looking for something in between, this may be the answer. 
Rembrandt's mixed white. Now every studio needs to have titanium white. For certain types of painting you really do need that extra tinting strength of the titanium white and to get that opaqueness particularly when you're using thick paint and you're painting in an impressionist style you want that strong effect if you're looking for something that is semi-transparent well zinc white may be the answer for you but use zinc white mixed in with mediums and other colors don't use it on its own as any sort of thick impasto layers because zinc does dry more brittle than titanium white and the potential there is for cracking so you've got to use zinc the way it's meant to be used either perhaps as a glaze or mixed in with uh, a medium like liquid or linseed oil or your other colors now the perhaps the best answer for a good transparent white with a reduced tinting strength but the ability to create milky glazes uh, ephemeral shapes soft edges if that's what you're looking for then transparent white would be fantastic for that and i think i am very impressed with rembrandt's transparent white that's quite an amazing uh, transparency for any sort of white paint and the way it's been formulated I think there's also a definite warmness to it compared to straight titanium white and maybe it is just the right balance with uh, zinc and titanium but then again if you want a evenly balanced paint with the strong tinting ability and the opaqueness the mixed white might be just the thing for you so there's some strong options there but it's up to you it also depends on your subjects a portrait i can see transparent white being very important and if you're painting landscapes and you want an impression then you want a strong tinting strength of titanium white well you can look at the differences as i've demonstrated and decide which one you want to try out but uh, you really won't go wrong with Rembrandt. It's world famous as one of the top artist's quality paints. So have fun trying those out. Now if this has answered a few questions for you and have found it useful, please give the video a like. If you can share it, that would be also fantastic. Make sure you've subscribed to this channel so you always get notifications of the next video. Until next week, cheers for now.